Hello. Someone asked me a while ago if I would consider doing a paint mixing video. Uh, so this is what I'll try and take you through right now. Basically, I have two different pouring medium mixes for my flip cups. One is a PVA glue and water mix and one is a clear craft glue liquitex pouring medium and water mix um, they behave similarly um, though the consistency of each is slightly different um, for my liquitex and clear craft glue mix uh, I use this craft glue from uh, Suster Negrena. It's acid free, so it's non yellowing. Um, have no idea what's in it because they won't tell you that. It just says craft glue. Um, I use about, what was my mix again? Um, about 50% of this. Then I add about 30% of the Liquitex uh, pouring medium and 30% water, which gives a consistency um, like this. I don't know if you can see. So it would be thinner than my usual paint which is the Amsterdam Acrylics standard series. Um, and I mix this one, three parts pouring medium to one part paint. But I figured out that I could also make a similarly working mix with this PVA glue from Sea White of Brighton which is also acid free and you'd want that because uh, uh, that um, should uh, stop them from yellowing over time. Um, but uh, mixing with this is a somewhat different story than craft glue and the liquitex so for this i figured out so far that 55 percent pva and 45 percent water is a good mix to achieve uh, the cells and the paint behavior that you see in my videos this is how i like them um, they give me kind of firm shape holding um, tight cells that you can expand by tilting the paint across the canvas without them losing their nice plump brown shape. So that's how I prefer them anyway and there are hundreds if not thousands of ways to do acrylic pouring so this is just to get my particular um, effect. As you can see this is the um, PVA and water mix. It's quite a bit thinner than the Craft Glue and Liqu Liquitex one. Um, when I first tried out this mix, I stuck with the ratios for my um, Craft Glue and Liquitex pouring medium. That didn't work out so well. Um, but then I kept testing and I find, found out that mixing this PVA and water mix with paints one to one ratio um, achieves the desired consistency and effect and I suspect it has to do with what's the paint made of because I suspect you have some of the ingredients or similar ingredients in the paint as you do in the Liquitex um, this is all about chemistry, really. Chemistry, science. 
Um, so when you mix um, one to three um, Amsterdam paint with this, you get less of the ingredients in the paint or the liquid exporting medium, uh, which makes the mix kind of too watery, too runny. Um, it muddies up, uh, it flows way too thin. Um, and yeah, I just don't get the cell structure I want. So by using more paint and less PVA and water mix, I think you achieve pretty much the same as you would do with liquid X glue and water and less paint. So um, I'll try and show you how I mix my paint and what the consistency looks like. Uh, because the consistency is key um, when doing acrylic pouring. I weigh out my ingredients. Uh, it's the most precise way to do it. So, oops, there we go. Uh, for now, I'll be mixing the PVA and uh, water, 55-45 uh, pouring medium mix. So right now I want a full cup which is approximately, two, or not approximately, um, it's two deciliters of paint. So here I got 90 grams of paint. And, well, 96 grams of pouring medium. That should be okay. A few grams to or from doesn't uh, ruin it. Okay, so then just go ahead and stir. Another thing I realized when I was testing to figure out if I could get this PVA water mix working is that, uh, well, the consistency, but I suspect also the ingredients in the paint balanced to the PVA and water. If you have uh, too much glue, you'll end up with loads and loads of bubbles, um, which is quite annoying, and it does have an effect on how the painting will look. So if you have it correct, uh, you should hardly have any bubbles. Stirring is hard work, by the way. So be sure to scrape along the edges to mix it properly. Go a bit up and down as well to scrape the sides properly. Make sure you do a proper scrape along the bottom as well because uh, a lot of paint will stick to the bottom of the cup if you don't do it. Some would uh, measure it the other way and that's probably a good idea to have in the pouring medium mix first and then add the paint. Makes it less likely that a lot of paint will stick to the bottom of the cup. Okay, this is starting to look good. So as you can see, no water bubbles or no air bubbles, sorry. Um, the consistency Some would call this warm honey or melted ice cream. 
Um, yeah, so it runs easily off the mixing stick, makes a small amount in the cup that evens out within a couple of seconds at most. And then, uh, as the last part, I add a few drops of silicone oil. This is what helps break the surface tension of the paints, um, so you have those beautiful cells forming. Some of them will probably appear by themselves, and you can make additional cells appear by uh, with heat. So this is where the blowtorch comes in. And you can torch the entire thing and you will have a whole canvas covered in cells. Or you can, um, you can basically choose where you would like the cells to form by torching selectively and carefully. Uh, this is a practice thing, so um, just pay attention as you go and take notes and correct accordingly to what you want to achieve in your further pours. This is what I've been doing day in and day out for the last six months. Um, so yeah, this is two desolators of paint. So I'm thinking three or four, probably four tiny drops of silicone oil. Basically, more silicone means more cells, less silicone, less cells. I see some people say that uh, you should only stir it in like a couple of times. Um, that doesn't make a difference, or you don't have to do that with this type of pouring medium anyway. Uh, if you were using something else, that might be the case, but with this glue and water, or even with the Liquitex glue and water mix, doesn't matter and I prefer to make sure the silicone um, gets properly mixed into all of the paint in the cup. Okay, show you the consistency again. So now I'm going to mix up um, five additional paints and do another video um, where I'll show you how this all works out. Okay, thank you for watching.